Hey guys, it's Rec. Welcome to Let's Play Mirror's Edge. Yay, it's my new game um, that I'm starting uh, after Bioshock. I kind of wanted something to keep the action going, but I wanted a little bit different too. And this is pretty different. This game, if you've never played it before, is uh, sort of like crazy parkour heaven. But it's a first-person shooter that involves a lot of jumping puzzles. It's very, very strange, and if you haven't heard of it, then you should definitely give it a look through. It's pretty fun, but I will demonstrate that to you as we're going to go through the whole game together. And experience crazy parkour heaven for what it really is. It is a beautiful game, by the way. Once the city used to pulse with energy. Dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now... It's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge. Between the gloss and the reality, the mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Face. Yeah, I know you hate it, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around duty, so get to her and just go with the flow, okay? Alrighty then. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I've got all the graphics options the way I wanted them. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. I thought I turned V-Sync off to fix the screen tearing, but I'm still seeing a little bit of screen tearing. But maybe that'll go away as we progress, so... Jump. And then left shift for downward movement, such as crouching. And then tab opens objectives. Learn the basics of movement and momentum. No shooting, just how to move. That is the most important part of this game, after all. Wee! Oh yeah, this is a fun game. I just I've got to get back into the swing a little bit though. That's the only thing. F alt will look at your goal. Points to her. Okay, cool. Her wrong button. Wee! There we go. Hello, Celeste. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. I almost got the name right. I thought it was. I knew it was F something. It was either Faye or Faith. So, okay. So our main character's name is Faith. And she apparently just had some sort of accident and is trying to get back into commission with the runners. Eh. So that's our sort of deal. And it serves as our tutorial. Fun times. Wah! Uh Oh, I didn't I couldn't slide underneath that one. These are speed vaults, right? You really want to keep your momentum going on a lot of this game. Momentum's a pretty big thing. If you slow down, it makes you feel kind of like you actually failed. Slowing down is kind of like dying in this game in a weird way. It's a lot more satisfying to just keep running and keep a pace going. But you'll see that as we progress. I'll probably make cuss words happen <laughs> whenever I... Uh, I suddenly stop for no reason at all. Okay, anyway. Grab it, jump. Ooh, holy crap, I almost killed myself there. Let's jump over to this pipe. And do that. Alright. Get on up here. Space to wall climb to the ledge above. Just like that. Alright. It's going good so far. This is a really graphically intense game. I had to turn the settings down in order to make it smooth. And it's not because the graphics are really good, but they are. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's more the fact this game just moves so quickly through big environments that 
the processor kind of goes, oh, oh, oh my god, Mirror's Edge hurts, hurts, stop it, stop it, the precious, oh my god. So, I had to kind of chill out and let my computer relax. It can run Skyrim, uh, darn it, I can, <laughs> I can run Skyrim easier than this freaking game. I wasn't reading the instructions. Okay, wall jump. How do I do wall jump? Let me try to remember here. It's something a little bit convoluted. This is my least favorite jump. Space, Q space, okay. There we go. Not exactly Assassin's Creed. It's very, very difficult to do jumping in this game compared to Assassin's Creed. I've seen this game compared to Assassin's Creed a lot, though. Another thing you might notice is the red. The red always highlights where you're supposed to be going. And you can turn that off, but I never really want to, because it's actually quite easy for me to get lost in this game without it. I discovered that, sort of, when I played this game without it the first time. Left shift! Whoo! There we go. Almost, almost freaked out. If you don't let go, you go slamming into that wall. It's awful. Okay, left shift, coil up and make yourself smaller in the air. Jump space and ro coil over the barbed wire head. Yes, it, ke it teaches you about crouch jumping, funny enough. Uh-oh. Nope, that wasn't right. So, let's go... Crouch jump! Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay, left shift to skill roll and close to the ground after a high fall. This will smoothen out the landing. We Left shift! There we go. So, for all downward actions, crouch is pretty much used, which is really easy to remember if you get a hang of it. Okay. Springboard up to the ladder. So, how do I do this? Space to use... Okay, so... Maybe... Oh, maybe I've got to, like, get a run at it or something. Let's try that. Oh, like that. Okay, that's right. You gotta move up to the thing and just hit space when you're walking into it. Right, 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 right. Okay, so hit space to jump up on the rooftop ahead, up here. See, that's one of the things. If that wasn't red, I wouldn't have known where to go there. Um, what's up, lady? Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? Okay, Ooh, cat fight. Cat fight, cat fight, cat fight. Okay, mouse one to punch, just your basic attack. Try to hit less hands. <laughs> Like that. Do a low punch with shift, and that's one. Oh, not close enough. There we go. Space mouse one to jump kick. Damage from this attack depends on your momentum. So if you started like all the way back here, turned around to her and went, HUTTLE! Pushes her back. And then slide kick. Eh. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, darn it. There we go. That's better. You can string together different moves and attacks to make you more effective in combat. You can go crazy ninja right, in this game. Dave. Let's run through some weapon disarms. Just in case. By just in case, she means all the freaking time. You would be surprised how often that happens. As far as I remember, anyway. The mouse one. Also, drop or pick up a weapon. To fire, use mouse one, but don't hit Celeste, drop the weapon. What happens if I do hit Celeste? I've got to ask myself. Oh! I shot her. Keep track of that. I did shoot her in the face. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you got to fight. Front of disarm when the weapon turns red. Timing is very important. I have my reflexes from this game, apparently. I should not have been able to do that the first try. 